we're here at Angels for Animals to interview some people to find out what Angels for Animals is all about and see some animals. So let's go. Okay, so um, why did you start Angels for Animals? Well, there was a huge need for animals uh, in this area to have a place to go and to be taken care of. And we wanted to educate the public on how to take good care of their animals. And the biggest problem at the time that we started Angels was the overpopulation problem. Uh, at the time we started in 1990, there were probably 30 dogs for every home available, and there were close to 500 cats for every home available. So the dog situation, on for many reasons, was much easier to deal with because dogs tend to be more cared for in general, they're more humanized as animals, they're larger, people don't want to have a bunch of puppies, they don't want a dog that pees on everything or is aggressive, they don't want a female who has issues every time she comes in heat. Uh, so, you know, people tend to spend money on dogs and have them spayed or neutered for their own convenience. Uh, so it was easier to fix the dog problem because we worked with the county pounds and got them to spay and neuter their dogs before they adopted them out. So there's a lot of control for dogs. There's licensing, there's laws, there's dog wardens, there's dog pounds. For cats, it's a much different problem. They're much less domesticated. Uh, dogs have been living, us with, li living with us in caves for millions of years. Cats were only domesticated 3,000 years ago. So they're much more like wild animals. They're smaller, they're more elusive, they can be feral. You rarely see a feral dog, but cats as, can be like a wild animal. And so people tend to ignore them and treat them like they're squirrels and they reproduce twice as fast as dogs. So people will feed cats, but sometimes they will not well, it's not sometimes, unfortunately. Most of the time, they will not deal with the cats and have them spayed or neutered. And quite quickly, those situations get out of hand when people start to feed the cats. So if you do feed a cat, you gotta fix the cat. That's really important. touring us around this beautiful building and showing us the in and outs of Angels for Animals and we hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.